Hello and welcome to attempt three at filming this video. Technology has not been playing very nicely. Uh, well, yesterday, in fact, is a whole fresh day and I'm hoping everything will behave itself better as we have got a Satsuma to <laughs> rallyify. Last time out, we managed to fit everything in the car, brought it all home. We are missing a windscreen and unfortunately my cheating to fix up the bodywork hasn't fixed up the windscreen. So at some point we will have to take it off to the mechanic shop and get that sorted out. However, we have got some bits and pieces to put in the car. We have got a radiator, we've got twin carburetors, and we have got the exhaust, I was going to say exhaust manifold, yeah, kind of, um, the exhaust headers to go on the vehicle as well. Our toolkit is in the pit. I remember where we left things. That will open there, and we will begin hopefully not break everything. That's kind of the, <laughs> the primary objective, is to get the car working. Uh, ooh, can we, oopsie, I pressed the wrong, there we go. Uh, get the car working and uh, yeah, upgraded hopefully will be a little bit faster. And of course we've got the tyres to put on the vehicle as well. Once we've got all of these bits put in place, we will then go for a little drive, see what we can do with the car. Rather annoyingly in one of the failed recordings, I have actually put these parts on before. We have actually got to the, um, yeah, putting parts on. Oh, uh, that's curious. That's very curious. The radiator should not be undone. Uh, I don't know how on earth it's done that. Um, slightly concerning uh, is that, yeah, those bolts are all over all the bolts. No, so the bolts on the carburetor and headers are done. I don't know why the radiator's undone then. Can we... Oh, fantastic. Oh, that, that's not quite gone to plan. Oh, bugger. We've, <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've taken the radiator off, but we've also closed the body. Uh, I, yes. God, we don't have to faff about with that. Well, we've taken out the clock. It's our, our, our new game of knock stuff off the table. I really didn't want to have to fight around with the hoses. I kind of assumed that the radiator would need the hoses out of the way and these are a real faff to get back on but it turns out you don't have to remove them you can just take the radiator straight out that's really really helpful that is going to save much faff and much anger uh right now we need to in fact i'm guessing it's going to be going that way around i'm trying to get the orientation right it does sometimes seem to help make things easier when it comes to putting stuff in the car uh, you know, if we can just drop that there, please sit neatly, thank you, and then we will pick that up there, like so, and then, fit. look at that, perfect, perfect, things are going well today, it is very unusual that things go well in a fail race video, don't let me forget to fill it up, and fill it up with water, that would be a very silly thing to do, and very easy, knowing my track record with remembering fluids in car building games. In Car Mechanic Simulator, it is the oil. I am awful. Or, not, uh, yes, it is Car Mechanic Simulator. I get these this game and Car Mechanic confused quite regularly. Car Mechanic Simulator, I am terrible, terrible with remembering to fill up the oil. And on here, it's well, just about everything. It's mainly the brakes that are the problem uh, with this. It's uh, all sorts of things have issues. We will check before we go. Before we go out and try and drive this car, you know, relatively hard. That's what I'm hoping, that we can get some relatively decent speed out of the vehicle now. Sort of throw it around the uh, rally stages. Well, let's say rally stage. We will come do the rally at some point properly. Um, but that won't be today. I think it's on weekends. Might be wrong. Oh, we need to take off the air filter first, don't we? I believe the twin carburetors come with their own like air filters already attached. I have to go check. I'm pretty sure they do, though. Uh, yeah, because that's the, the red bit at the top of it, essentially. That's that's the technical term for it. Uh, oh, good. We've got which angle? How should we angle it? I'm thinking at this sort of an angle. Can we get all the paint cans down in one go? And launch! Oh, too high. Just skimmed across the top. I was expecting it to fall a little bit. I think that's a pretty good shot. In our paint can bowling, we got one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that was caused by me or not on that one. Um, There we go. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun is had with messing around with, with stuff. Uh, I've forgotten now what size we wanted for the... Uh, this bit, not that one. I think we wanted the one down. The eight uh, is the ticket. Yep. And then we can undo both of these at the same time. Uh, the, first, the first time I did this, finding this bolt here was a nightmare. 
I, I got I got to the stage where I'd got the carburetor off fine, but the exhaust manifold I could not get off, and I didn't know what I was missing. Yeah, it took a long time to spot that one. It's very, very difficult to see. I don't actually think you can see it from any angle. Like, physically see the bolt. you kind of got to use the um, peer through and hope method. Can you see it? I don't... Uh, yeah, maybe with the carburetor removed, if you know exactly where to look, you might be able to possibly, possibly spot it. Uh, you've also got to be very careful that you don't accidentally undo something deep in the engine. Because anything, any other bolts inside the engine that are this size, you can undo. I'm going to have a massive sneeze. Oh, I'm at that stage where I've now... Now I've said I know I'm going to sneeze. My body is determined not to... Uh, not to allow me to sneeze. God damn it. God damn it indeed. Uh, is there... Now I'm missing one on the carburetor, I think. Uh, crap. <laughs> We're going to play this fun and games of try to find... That's for the exhaust. But I don't think the... I don't think I can get the exhaust off before I've got the... Carburetor. That's the hose. Don't click on that by accident, because that will not be a fun time. Anybody? Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, I saw something there. There. Just little movements. Where is it? It's just behind the throttle linkage. Oh, it's already undone. I had to bloody say something, didn't I? I had to say something about having issues finding a missing bolt. And... Uh, <laughs> we are way too far down, I think, to possibly see anything regardless from here. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you can actually see the bolt from underneath the car if you look really carefully. Alright. Where is this last bloody one? Uh, we're going to have to go. It's a little bit weird kind of working on the car with the engine in it, as I've never, you know, previously... There's that thing that I think I want. Will that be carburetor off? No, it will not. All the other... All the work I've done on the engine previous to upgrading the vehicle has all been done. Ah, right, I hadn't got that one off properly. That's part of the problem. Yeah, all the other work I've done previously on this car was... Hey, they're all over. Um was with um, kind of the engine out, not done the upgrading before. So, yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, it's kind of got a lot less angles. I'm used to be able to spin the engine around to access bits and pieces of uh, of car. Now, can we get this? Or have I have I now completely forgotten what I am doing with this? Okay, so there was like one, one tick further back. That can come off. See, uh, we want that. Nope, that's the wrong button. That's the button we want. Pick up the headers, nothing to knock over, so we'll just sort of throw it into the mess. A few people said that I'd sort of tighten the bolts down here on the exhaust uh, into what was going to be removed and replaced. The way that Car Mechanic Simulator works is it'll get away, you'll get away with, not Car Mechanic Simulator, my summer car. There we go, my brain is frazzled. Um, <laughs> you'll get away with doing that, because I do it with the half shafts as well when you put them on. You tighten them up, even though there's nothing to tighten them up into, and then when you put the other part on, it's kind of automatically completed. A little bit cheaty, perhaps, but it works. It's, it's just the way that the uh, the game works. Right, shall we go and... Oops, we'll go around here, we'll grab the carburetors. Now, this is not a way to treat new car parts. However, because I'm lazy and don't want to do this in two trips, we'll just kind of throw them forward and then shimmy away. Don't have to throw them too far, but uh, we will throw them around, shimmy our way around, and hopefully find an angle that will please the gods of the... Oh, did that actually install them? <laughs> we might... <laughs> We might have installed the um, headers while dropping the bonnet. I think we did. Uh, yes, look at that! <laughs> that is how it is done. <laughs> oh dear. Not problems you normally have when working on a car. You don't install a part and simultaneously drop a bonnet. Well, you might do. It probably hurts. The chances are you will be underneath the bonnet that, you, uh, that you've dropped. But there we go. Alright. Uh, that. And... Oh. Here we go. I've not even started drinking on this game yet, and we're already having issues tightening bolts up. That's not a promising sign. Do we only have one bolt on that? No, there is the bugger. I knew, I knew I'd forget about it if we weren't careful. Yeah, we've got plenty of needs bars are, are happy enough. I could probably do with a clean, but no, <laughs> never mind. That kind of takes second fiddle in this game, really. Um, that will sit in there. Oh, we're gonna re we'll have to readjust all the carburetor again, won't we? Uh, there is that bit there to adjust by the looks. We will get that going uh, at some point. All right, let's tighten that one. Tighten maybe that one if we can find a hitbox. Oh, come on. Where's the hitbox for it? There. Right. That'll do the job. And then we will we'll check fluid levels after this. Then we will start the car up. We'll let it warm up while we change the tyres. We should be good to go, I think. I say that. Fingers crossed. What have we forgotten? Are there parts lying around the workshop that are... 
sort of unaccounted for. Doesn't look like it. I think we're all good. I think we're all good. Uh, right, in this mess of bits up here. No, we don't have any. Ah, there's the coolant. I was going to say, I know we have some of these around. Oopsie. Uh, come on, come on. I just want the... There. <laughs> Just, just, just faff around, faff around, and we will find the coolant eventually. Okay, I um, think we've got like three or four tubs. I don't know how much I'm like working on the assumption that this radiator takes a lot more than the previous one, just because it's a considerably larger radiator. There we go. Oops, no, not quite right there. That's the ticket. Okay, leave that. Let that fill up. I don't know how much, how much it will, it will take. Whether we will need multiple tubs of coolant. It's always a good thing to keep these in the back of the car because you never know when something might go wrong i haven't and i don't know if the game will do this sort of as you're you're racing around whether things like the radiator hose can fall off on its own uh whether like certainly we've 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 hit a few things we've been bounced around we've lost the drive gear but aside from that i've had no mechanical faults with the engine i've broken off bodywork panels hell with our crashes we've had where the the black and orange satsuma uh, rest in peace was absolutely murdered that uh still engine wise mechanically wise was working fine so i don't know if the car can have like in a, in a certain crash if you can have something that will damage the radiator or you know knock off the distributor and that kind of thing i don't think so because of the crashes that we've already had and it hasn't happened but i could be wrong on that one we will hopefully not find out we're not going to have any crashes there will be no crashes at all anymore in this series and you know that is utter utter nonsense however hopefully there will be no more no more major crashes uh oil wise we've just topped it up there is also uh, sort of a certain amount of i'm trying to think of the right way of phrasing it my brain's just drawn a blank again the various fluid levels will gradually decline over time so you do have to be aware of that i don't know how fast the, the, the decline is i don't know how actually gradual it uh, it is <laughs> good thing you can just smash your face through the rear window there to uh, get to stuff while we're doing this while i haven't messed around with the brakes and clutch etc i might as well give it a test uh, that's a little bit down don't think it's from a uh, particular leak. When the last time we drove it, the car's brakes were working fine. And if there is a problem, it tends to become pretty pretty apparent pretty damn quickly. Uh, you'll be going to a corner and then you won't be stopping. Uh, yeah, there does seem to be a little bit of kind of, I guess, usage of the uh, brake fluid. Are we going to fill that up or no? We don't, we're not really interested in filling that up. That's annoying. There we go. Right, that'll work. Uh, let's just drop it that way. Nope. <laughs> Couldn't quite get it to balance properly. Not really surprised, particularly. Actually, so one of the little bit of a faff things that I have come across with this, mostly with the brake fluid, because that's the thing I tend to be fighting the most, and there's three of them to do. Uh, if you've got this sort of turned upside down, if you're now here trying to scroll it to put it at the right angle, you end up doing, well, that, but <laughs> putting the cap back on. So you kind of want to have this sort of set in its position ways before you go move over the car to uh, fill it out. It's only a minor inconvenience. It's just something that when it does happen is quite irritating. Uh, I think that is most of the things that we need doing done. We're going to take that outside. I think it's going to be time to fire up the car, isn't it? I think it is going to be time. I'm just checking. I'm paranoid that we've forgotten something now. But I've done this much more efficiently than, of course... Oh, we've still got the bar at the bottom, so that's comforting. I've done this a lot more efficiently than I did uh, the first time, because I vaguely know what I'm doing. It was about this time where we've had some recording issues, computer issues, and a power cut. So <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a fun day yesterday. So if we go and turn a car on oh we don't have uh xbox controller connected so it's probably not going to like this hold on a second i completely forgot uh, there is excellent preparation uh, at this moment in time if we unplug that okay we have xbox controller plugged in there we go that's better uh, <laughs> i've been messing about with uh, with my new computer uh we're not i'm not playing on my new computer just yet because i've got to still kind of transferring stuff over oh we're running quite rich on the uh on the old fuel front uh, let's if we just go and leave the 
leave a choke out for now. It was it was idling okay, but I'll just leave a choke out for now while it warms up. Um, the doors are closed. Doors are closed. Gears. Put it in reverse. My controller does seem to be a little bit. Uh, oh, it seems to be quite very sensitive actually <laughs> at the moment. That's fine. Nothing could go wrong with any of that at all, could it? Uh, let's just try and not drive it in the pit. We're going to snake our way out, but we've avoided falling in the pit. We've made it out of the garage. Uh, that's not what we want, gear-wise. That will do. Park it there. Okay. Uh, oh, we haven't got very much fuel in our car. That's a small bit of a concern. Didn't realise we were so low on fuel. Okay. Right. Uh, indeed it is. Uh, the front right tyre, this one. So if we go and... We'll lay these out, and we will try and do rally uh, rally pit stop. Um, over there. Oh, wow, that goes far. I found a new thing. <laughs> That's quite impressive, actually. Shall we do hubcap frisbeeing? Hubcap frisbeeing sounds like an excellent, excellent, excellent game. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just a fender. <gasps> Bloody hell, I thought we'd broken something important. I thought we'd, like, unhooked a hose or something dumb. All right, let's get that off. Uh, hubcap frisbeeing? Shall we go from the roof of the car? Oh, this is probably going to break things, but never mind. Hubcap frisbee! Away! Uh, yeah, kind of made a decent, decent distance. Oh, there we go. Get it. Oh, what? <laughs> For God's sake! That's why I don't stand on the car. Ah, <sighs> yeah, sometimes the, uh, sort of collision... Collision with car, especially with the person, is a little bit dodgy. What the... Where did the hubcap go? Hubcap! Oh, there it is. Let's get you out of there. And um, the physics is not being too... Like, most of the parts have not been too glitchy with the physics-wise, but these hubcaps have been the most dangerous thing. Yep, the hubcaps are the most dangerous thing I've ever worked on this car. I think that bent the door up. Yes, it has. And that's why I cheat to repair the bodywork, because it gets a little bit stupid at times. Okay, now we're going to want this. Good, good positioning, me. <laughs> Oh, I was expecting to go faff around in the garage to find it, but no, apparently we have it standing standing by ready. We'll work on this side first. We'll try and get the um, fender out of there as well. Oh, I'm so glad we didn't ping a hose off, have the car overheat without me noticing, and then a big fire. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, fender's clear. Let's put that out of the way. Right, we want maybe this one. I should go for some guesswork here. Nope, maybe not that one. I should have moved the thing closer. Uh, that one, I think, is the... Yes, it is. Right, rally tyres now on to our car. It is a little bit precariously placed on the jack after that slightly glitchy, glitchy physics moment. Wheels, please do not have issues. I'm now slightly paranoid after the hubcaps bumped things around so much. And, uh, oh, did one of these not quite undo enough? That one there, I think. Uh, yeah, oh, well, maybe. There we go, if we can highlight it correctly. Okay, but it's a little bit on the glitchy side. Nothing too terrible. Doesn't doesn't quite frisbee the wheel as well, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> slightly, slightly disappointing. Uh, oh, the phone's still connected. What do you want? In fact, I don't care. I've got unlimited money, and all of my car parts are here. So that could not possibly be an interesting phone call. Unless I've added something. I doubt it. Um, oops, careful now. Uh, we've still got that bloody bar going on at the bottom. It's, it, I don't know if that's actually just going to be frozen in place or whether that's going to be frozen con continually. Like it's, it's frozen down there, but whether it's going to sort of live track the um, kind of brake fluid levels could be quite interesting. Uh, right, lift you up. Uh, oh, we've not positioned the jack very well. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why I'm kind of... I'm kind of going, aiming vaguely-ish for where jacking points would be. That one there was awful, by the way, because I've now picked it up by the rear suspension. That's not that's not a good way to jack a car up. Do not try... <laughs> do not try to do that. That thing would break many things. Um, I don't know why. It doesn't matter. It's not... You can't bend... You might be able to bend the chassis a little bit. Like, like um, damage-wise. Well, seeing as we've managed to damage the door by taking the hubcap off, it wouldn't surprise me if you could... Uh, slightly buckle bits of the chassis with the with the jack lifting it up, but it's not going to uh, break anything majorly. It's just mostly visual stuff. I would imagine. Again, could be wrong. I've not seen it happen. And then we will uh, drop the car down. There we go. Um, how are we doing? Are we? It should be probably warmed up by now. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, it does look like it is. Right. So if we go uh, open that, then we will put that in. 
We do seem to be a little bit on the twisted side at the moment, and I'm not quite sure why. Like, we're, we're tilting. Why are we tilting so much? Oh, because the car got shunted across and the wheel got picked up. That's fine. We can live with that one. Uh, well, we'll fix it in a minute. Okay, uh, it was... Let's just pay attention. Which is it running? Is it running to... Oh, it is running... Actually, about right. Okay, that's pretty good. We might just... Um, lean it off a smidge. Was this the thing that we want? Yeah, so if we go that way, that's just two, two clicks. Is that in the vaguely right direction? Whoa, that's a bit too much. Okay, two... <laughs> Two clicks was a little bit high. Um, I, I meant Richard. I could never remember which way around the numbers are. I'm just kind of going. Why have I moved that? I've moved that slightly and it moved it like by two whole things. And now I've moved it a fair bit more to bring it back. And it's only gone by like 0.4. Uh, 4.6. We may. Uh, sorry, we're, we're Richarding it. High, higher numbers mean leaner? Yeah, I think so. Uh, 14 put that well we'll leave it there for now um, I'm kind of also just doing this as a bit of a test to see if it stays idling I always seem to have problems with my cars getting them to idle properly on this game like certainly with the vi the version well uh, this is technically the third Satsuma I've built or kind of built the black and orange one uh, the one that I did the video on or got the series on was technically the second as I did off camera kind of when I was learning the game half build a car it never drove i never got sort of past the um basics i don't know how long i, I spent in it but uh, that would be technically my first my first build i don't don't think i ever actually even started on the engine with that car i think that was just a um kind of see what the game was like and prat around with a couple of the bits of the chassis i think i put most of the chassis together actually if i remember rightly but uh, so yeah this is kind of technically v3 satsuma and uh, yeah I've completely lost where that train of thought... I, I got distracted trying to retrace what I'd done, and I can't remember now why I was talking about previous versions of cars. Either way, get rid of the wheel. Frisbee away. Not particularly well. We ask... We're, this is a race against time at the moment, because the car is gradually slipping off the jack. Can we do it before the car falls down? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, <laughs> this is a test with the scroll wheel on my mouse. Oh, it's falling. It's falling. It is... Uh, go, it stopped. It's Fine. Fine. Nothing bad has happened there, Nini. Well, a lot. A lot, really. Uh, right, if we just, let's try and put this in a more sensible place, like there. That going to be a more sensible place? It doesn't help if the car does sort of slightly move around a little bit, but what can you do? I want a pneumatic air gun thing for, <laughs> for these, just for a little bit more efficiency, rather than bloody scroll wheeling. The amount of scroll wheeling you do between this game and Car Mechanic Simulator is a, is a lot. A lot of scroll wheeling. Uh, how are we doing? Okay, we're a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. Uh, still need to go visit the sauna relatively soon. And away! No. Oh, that was rubbish. There are going to be bits of Satsuma littering the, <laughs> littering the area. I'll have to clean them up at some point. Uh, I should probably be neater. But I don't have to because it's a game. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just if I drive over one and something goes bang that's when we're a little bit concerned that's all on there i think we are looking pretty damn good we are looking pretty good with our satsuma yeah the, i'm gonna have to cheat again and fix up that front uh oh fender of course let's not forget this oh actually while i think about it we shall go and do uh, a little bit of painting work you guys said you can in fact paint the roll cage which is quite cool and we are going to change the color scheme on our car ever so slightly uh well it's going to stay black and pink we're going to swap it around i think i think it'll look better with having black as the main color and pink as the highlights i'll give it a try we'll uh, <laughs> we've we've got we've got time we can we can see what it looks like um right Unfortunately, yeah, just ignore the fact that the front is going to be a little bit on the buckled side. We could have actually painted it matte black. And I think if you go to the mechanic in town, you can do all sorts of fancy things with the painting of the car. It's fairly expensive, which is why I haven't done it beforehand. Now that I've got unlimited money, then you can just kind of cheat it. However, yeah, you can do all sorts of things if you want to the car. I think you can make it like pearlescent and possibly metallic and all of that kind of stuff still idling which is promising it hasn't uh, it hasn't stood up that's where i was going with that uh, my trade of thought has cycled back around it got very very derailed and distracted that is where 
we were going with that train of thought, I think. Um, yeah, I've always had a problem getting the cars to idle properly. It's, I don't know, like, I can have the air-fuel ratio set and then it still has issues. But this car here does seem to be working quite nicely. Uh, that's not very well on the front. Uh, fender flare spoiler. Wouldn't that be kind of fender flare splitter more than spoiler? I don't know. Whoopsie. Let's not go paint the back again. I could do with. I would kind of like some side skirts on the car rather than. I, know the, I say side skirts just like so you can continue the nice neat line around when it comes to doing sort of two tone paint jobs. I believe there are. You can mod in skins for this thing. In fact, I've seen a fail race. Someone tweeted me a picture of a fail race liveried Satsuba. There are various ones around that uh, you can find. I've not had much luck when it comes to mods with this game. I have found a couple that I'd quite like. Like, I did spot some rally lights at the front that you could install. I couldn't get it to work, though. I couldn't get the mod to install and for them to appear, which was a bit of a pain. Uh, apparently, if we look through the back here, when it says roll cage, if you highlight that, we're not painting the window honest. We are painting the roll cage. There we go. Uh, ooh! Just speaking of other parts that we can put in the car, I almost forgot about this little thing. Yes, this goes on the steering column. Thank you to people uh, <laughs> telling me where it is. Uh, apparently, this is a real pain in the ass because you put it on the steering column and it blocks the view. Another mod that I wanted to install... Yeah, there we go. Another mod that I wanted to install that moved the uh, dial next to these gauges. However, again, I couldn't get that one to work either. Does this have a thing that we need to tighten? Um, I'm kind of assuming that it... Does yeah, it doesn't look like it. It will do in there. Uh, right, let's move our toolkit. All right, we're going to bring the toolkit with us. The ge general rule rules. Blah, I can't speak. General rules of my summer car: always bring a toolkit, always bring some beer, or well, bring some drink. But beer is the easiest one to carry around in large quantities. And um, yeah, you'll probably be all right for whatever situation. And sausages. Sausages are great on here. Sausages are the uh, are the lifeblood of. Uh, of my summer car. There we go. There's the thing to tighten up. That should then be installed, I think. Yeah, looks like it's doing its job. Right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Maybe we will go... Oh, do we have, I wonder, any fuel left in that jerry can? We might have to... My initial plan was to go off to the airport and prash around over there. But we might have to go get some fuel. That might be job for today. Yeah, I think it will be, unless, unless, as I said, we've got fuel in this. Maybe this will reset our uh, counter at the bottom. Okay, fuel into the car. Yeah, I don't really know if that's putting any fuel in, <laughs> basically. Crap. Let's bring this can with us and we'll fill it up over there. Um, sure, I've not, <laughs> not got it very well positioned. But that will do. Uh, we can. There we go. We can actually open the boot. And because we've got no rear seats or anything, there's lots of storage space. Turns out, Rally Car is good for carting stuff around. Uh, there is. Oh, there's a pack of sausages. Uh, we'll need some food as well while we're out. Uh, coolant. I think we might have coolant in there already. And there's 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 some more oil. Maybe we shouldn't start a new tub. Let's bring the other one. Uh, where did I throw it? Did I already dump it in the car? Might have dumped it in the car. Come to think of it, this is this is the preparation we have dumped it in the car. We haven't dumped any of the brake slash clutch fluid, so that's got some. It will helpfully tell you on the like when you go to pick it up, the sort of tool tip at the bottom will tell you if it's uh, got any in it. And <laughs> found a use for the car not having a windscreen and throw. That's more in the passenger seat. We'll bring a couple of them because there's not a there's not a huge amount in each individual tub. Uh, almost did make it perfectly into the passenger seat. Not quite. That can go in there. Um, let's go get some... Ooh, we're probably not going to be able to have a drink of water, are we? Because the game's a little bit bugged when it comes to this sort of stuff. Nope, we're not. Right, beer it is then. Before our, before our journey, this can only go swimmingly well. We'll be a tad tipsy. When it comes to driving, it's fine. Nothing could nothing could possibly go wrong in this game in which I have managed to break everything so far with, with the introduction of a bit of extra alcohol. By the time we got to the end of our road, I think we probably will have sobered up. So, yeah. And that will do nicely. Okay, let's go and see how fast our Satsuma goes. And camera's a little bit wobbly. I think I prefer it with that, that way round with the colour scheme, I'll be honest. Boot closed. Uh, in fact, let's have a look at the fuel gauge because the, the actual gauges in the car, of course, will tell us information. Not very much fuel is the answer there. Okay, enter driving mode. 
we have got half decent uh, fuel ratio. Um, let's just try and reverse it backwards and not run over all of the bits of debris that I've been chucking around. It is very much just an abandoned workspace there, but I'm okay with that. Uh, right, gears, gears, and away with our Satsuma. Let's see what stuff might come up and cause it issues this time. Immediately, immediately I am liking the grip. It actually gets turned properly. That's quite impressive. Now I have... I think I've seen comments somewhere. I can't remember what video it was on. But um, people saying that the rally tyres are a bit dodgy when driving on tarmac. I don't know how true that is. We will find out relatively soon. But on the dirt, as you would expect, it is actually really rather good. It's now a nice car to drive. We have the steer. I say the steering is straight. That's my controller apparently being ever so slightly wonky. Is ever so slightly pulling to the left. Uh, when, uh, if I don't touch the stick, if, uh, <laughs> if I don't touch the stick, it doesn't really seem to recenter itself. It's an old 360 control, relatively old 360 controller that uh, <laughs> that I'm using at the moment. Could probably do with a new one. Um, however, yeah, we're not terribly, terribly pulling to the left because the steering geometry is all out, which is good. And now we can actually drive with some speed. In fact, with some real speed around here. Oh, I'm going to slow down for that. Oop. Uh, because last time we went across that, we had issues with... Uh, was it the fender that fell off? Something like that. Uh, we could also replace the revometer that we have on the left-hand side with the clock. So we can actually have a clock in our car. Uh, oh, <laughs> didn't quite have the turning to do that, as I thought we did. Oh, we okay, car? Yeah, we're fine. We're not bent anything, not broken anything. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, I might have a play around again a little bit later, trying to get the uh, the mods that I was looking at to to work, so we can actually have you know a, a visible speedo. Because now I have no clue what speed I am doing. None. Nothing. Um, I mean, we're assuming we're going relatively quick. Uh, ooh, it feels fast. This car. It actually now finally feels like the best vehicle to drive in the game. Previously. With the standard Satsuma on its normal tyres, the septic truck, I think, was more entertaining to drive. It actually felt like it had more grip and you felt like you could drive it faster. Admittedly, it does help in the knowledge that in the septic truck, if you crash it, you can't actually break anything important. However, it's, uh, it still drove really, really well and you could get it up to, I think I've done about 110, 120 kilometres an hour down the hill on the way into town with that truck. It's quite, um, quite surprisingly fast. And, but now this does feel like a decent, decent vehicle to uh, to go driving with. I'm a little concerned now as I'm barreling around here. Oh dear, that's no, nope, no nope. brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, bad, bad things are going on. I think we might have stalled the engine. Oh, come on, car. <laughs> Uh, I had a small panic. I had a small panic there, I'm going to be honest. I have to go check that everything's alright with my car. Um, I saw the water on the inside and my controller was putting me a little bit to the to the left. I panicked and then overcorrected it and plonked it straight into the wall. Uh, we're still good. The, the uh, muffler's on the exhaust. The front of the car is no more broken than when I kind of stood on... It's kind of when I fell on the bonnet is, was where that damage there was done. Yeah, I did not want the Satsuma to go in the water because we're quite a long way from home and we really would be very, very buggered if uh, <laughs> if that had happened. Right, back to driving mode. Back to driving mode we go. Uh, we're good. All right, and then we're going to leave driving mode because we're at a wonky angle. Uh, there we go. Now we're back in driving mode. This is a really dumb place to park because little lunatic with the green car could come around a corner at any minute. And as I was saying, before we got rudely interrupted by me nearly falling into a bit of water. Uh, because this now feels quicker to drive, I'm, I've no doubt we're taking a lot more speed around these corners than I have been previously. We may come around a blind corner quite a lot faster than normal and there suddenly be a green car in the way. And that is not a good outcome for, well definitely not for him, let's face it, I've now got rally seats, rally harnesses and a full roll cage in my car. I mean the Satsuma probably won't fare too well but I'm more likely to survive than he is. However I don't really want to have the uh, the Satsuma written off again. Just as we've got the car working and now actually driving really nicely. Change down a gear. How are we doing? Keeping on all the other uh, dials. I think we're doing okay. I think we're, do we seem to be okay uh, at the moment? 
yeah, I really don't want this car now to uh, be written off. So if I see a green car, we will throw our vehicle off-road at the first possible opportunity. I would rather, you know, get it stuck in... Well, I'd rather not get it stuck in a ditch. I'd rather throw it off-road and clonk it across the uh, terrain like I have done a few times by accident than have a crash head-on. But getting it stuck in a ditch would be awkward trying to, well, rescue the car again. Uh, we must be getting somewhere near to... I think we are getting somewhere near towards the tarmac road. Yeah, we've got to go get fuel. I don't... Oh, I love this corner. That's where I, I thought that corner was coming up. It's such a great... It's a great corner if you um, don't have a car the other side of that crest. I, off camera at some point, I did go around there with a the septic truck and splat straight into, uh, into the little green car. But uh, yes, yeah, a fantastic, fantastically nasty turn. Right, we will... Uh, I can't slightly funky noise. I can't be bothered to kind of spin my camera around because it's a bit awkward trying to get to the mouse to look and drive with a controller. So we are going to go. We're going to go flat out. We're going to see what speed. I say see what speed we can obtain down here. There is a downhill section coming up that will be our best chance for getting high speeds, but I'm not going to be able to see what it is because the speedo is hidden. Uh, our handlings are a little bit floaty, but it's fine. We shouldn't have a problem with the uh, Techno Viking. This is where I got 120 out of the... Uh, uh, septic truck down this hill. We're going okay. There is an achievement, I think, for doing 220 kilometers an hour, and I'm not quite sure how on earth or where on earth we're going to do that. Because, I mean, that's maybe your best bet there. Perhaps with a bit of change of gearing might might come in handy in this. Uh, oh, I've just realized we've got to be quite careful in our parking by the petrol station, because when I was filling up the truck, or well, the van, the moron with the uh, yellow car crashed into the petrol bits, so I don't know where's best to park here, because I don't want to get broken, but I do want to access So if we park this side of them, we will use the petrol pumps as a barrier between us and him. That can only go well, or I might have made it worse, because that might be the side that he wants to be on. We'll find out quickly enough. I'm hoping the, uh, actually the hose should go far enough. No problem. Um, because the fuel the fuel filler is there. I wonder if you can put the wrong fuel in the car and break everything. I'm not going to try it. Not after all the work we've done. However, yeah, I'm, um, I'm slightly curious, but not curious enough to risk ruining my vehicle. We've still got the bar broken, so we're going to leave this, I think, until it clicks. Really? That's about all that we can can do at uh, this stage. Right, that is our car filled up with petrol. We shall just go and pay for it, seeing we have plenty of money to do that. Hello, indeed. Um, we filled up the car, filled up the... Oh, should we have a go at this while we're here? Bugger it. Um, I don't quite know how we do anything with it. Ah, we put that in there, and then do we press that button? Um, maybe we will get something... I don't know if we have to actually press anything at all. Uh, I don't... Uh, ooh, I've done, done something. There's there's a number going up on there. I don't know how any of, any of this works. I don't really know. Uh, it's kind of cool that it does. Oh, we've got some money's doing something. I think you can... No, I, I don't... I haven't played slot machines before. I think you can, like, nudge stuff. Possibly. Uh, or maybe you'd, maybe you'd sort of like lock one in and then do we do some... I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's cool that the damn thing works. I think you can make some decent money, potentially, off that. Um, I got distracted completely. Uh, what we say? Yes, car. Car is car is kind of done. Car is is pretty much ready now to be, to be rallied. It is a Monday and we've got to wait till the weekend for a rally opportunity. It's driving really nicely, though. <laughs> All of these parts have made a real, real difference. It actually handles really very well. It is a nice, fun car to throw about the dirt stages. I think next time out, we'll probably head down to the airport, the drag strip, and kind of over there where we haven't explored before. And then it'll be time for a for a rally. That, though, is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.